smells so good. I All right, hi fairies. So in today's video, we're going to be following a Jeffree Star's most expensive makeup tutorial, but only using cheap products. I'm not too sure what I'm going to title this video, but what I mean by cheap or affordable products is basically any product under $10. You know, I'm not too sure if like the Shop Miss A makeup or makeup you can get online for really cheap would be considered drugstore. You know, I'm going to be using a mix of drugstore as well as like affordable stuff I just got online, but everything in this tutorial should be under $10. Is there no budget this time around? No, I wanted to do at Jeffree Star's most expensive video in general, and that one was the $3,000 of Gucci Ooh. makeup. So I tried following that video last night, but I couldn't stop laughing, so I had to stop. I see something, I see something. <laughs> Why does the shark tattoo on his tummy? <laughs> Why does it look like it has a stoma? Cut the cameras. That's what happens when you take your IBS medication and don't drink enough water. But I kind of thought about it after that and I wanted to do a video where it's actually Jeffrey telling us what to do, you know? What? I felt like a review or a testing video wouldn't really be fair or wouldn't really count as a tutorial because he doesn't really have complete control over the products he's using. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Also, I know he has a few tutorials on his channel where other people do his makeup and I also kind of disqualified those. That all being said, we're going to be following the how to get a sugar daddy makeup tutorial. Now, this specific video has a total price tag of $626. I don't have enough money for chicken nuggets. However, some of the items he used were on sale or were discontinued. So the total cost of his face in this tutorial is about $800. I'm out of here. <laughs> So if you're as excited as I am to see how the cheaper products compare in recreating a bougie look, then keep on watching. All right, so the first product Jeffrey uses is the Sicily Double Tinsier Primer. We. Oui. Now that primer is $200. Uh, I think the fuck not. Uh, child, anyway, so. Stop it. But I looked at the description of that primer and it's supposedly like a moisturizing primer, like it's a more hydrating one. So I have the face primer by She. You can get this on Shop Miss A for a dollar. Uh, that is not correct. So this is supposed to be a hydrating, super silky, light and fresh formula. So I think that's kind of what the Sicily one is. Oh. Well, let me put this ugly ass hair band on. <laughs> So I'm gonna, of course, coat my fingers and rub this all over my face. It looks like he kind of just put it on his hands like this, and then he kind of just went like this and got it all over his hands and kind of just put it all over. Yeah, no shit! I don't know about you guys, but I have never, like, actually seen a Sicily product in real life before. I've seen Guerlain before, but I've never seen, like, Sicily. Honestly, I think a $200 primer, that's not even something I can see with my middle-class eyes. Fire! It's like, do they just disappear in a cloud of purple smoke when a poor person walks by? So disrespectful! For foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with something I haven't really used on camera before. It is from the brand Guerlain, and this is the Lingerie Foundation. All right, so moving on to foundation, he uses the Guerlain Lingerie De Pew. De Pew? What does it mean? Oh. <laughs> Okay. So this foundation is $63 on Sephora.com, which is a fucking lot. Ooh. This is described as being a natural finish foundation with full coverage and it's suitable for normal and dry skin. So the foundation I'm going to be using to kind of replicate that effect is the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. This foundation gives you the most gorgeous satin matte finish. It's not like super, super matte and it's not super, super dewy. Now CYO is going discontinued. This foundation is normally $7, so it's definitely under $10. Let's get a little damp beauty blender and get to work. He kind of dots his sponge in and he kind of just applies it like that. So we're gonna do it that way I normally like dip my finger in and then dot it on before I blend it out But you know what as long as it gets on your face, it doesn't really matter now does it? She's got a point now I know Jeffrey is like a matte matte queen So I'm kind of surprised he chose a more natural finish in this video But I am fucking thankful he did because I look horrible in matte, but look at that glow Period. I'm definitely a satin finish kind of bitch. You know what I mean? I want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air Well, that's 35 seconds of my life. I'm never getting back. Next, we have to do our concealer. So he uses the NARS, one of the NARS ones. It's the one in the pot. So that concealer is normally $30. Now, obviously, I don't have it. That's 
people around. I actually don't really have any concealer that's like that one because I don't really fucks with concealer in the pot. But I looked on Sephora.com and that one's described as definitely being like a soft matte or a satin finish. Now, the normal concealer I go in with is matte. So I'm actually going to be trying out the AOA liquid concealer. This is from Shop Miss A, meaning this is only a dollar. Oh, finally you're here, bitch. You got a dollar? You're fucking lying. But I tried this last week just to see how it was. And it's definitely like a satin matte. It's not crazy. Now, I have the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade, which is pathetic. Pathetic! Because I'm definitely not the lightest skin tone. In fact, I'm like kind of medium light. So I'm really hoping they step up the shade range game because this is kind of a cute concealer. So we're going to be dipping in again. Now, I'm just going to go in because this is mine, of course. I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender and get some on the tip. <laughs> Come on, tip. So I'm gonna be taking it on the back of my hand and just going like that. And he also hits the chin just a bit, so I'm gonna be doing that too. Now this concealer may look very brightening, but looks can be deceiving, uh, which I will soon prove. But this concealer definitely does oxidize at least two shades. All right, so this is how the concealer looks on my skin. It is definitely a radiant finish. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you definitely can. We're definitely looking really dewy with this combo and I'm actually really enjoying it. That's amazing. Okay, cool. Oh my God, I just got past the part where Jeffrey complained about the shade range too. The only thing I wish is the shade was a little lighter. This is their lightest shade. So hopefully that's a sign we're on the right track. All right, so to put the concealer we just set down, he goes in with a MAC powder in the shade Shivering White. I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix in shade Shivering White. So that powder is normally $30. I struggled a little bit to find a product in my collection that was under $10 white and pressed. Press, 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 press. But I did manage to find this one. This is the Murataki Rice Powder from Shop Miss A. This is weird because on Shop Miss A, this is only a dollar, but on other places, it's seven. What's up with that? But it's basically this little white cake of powder that you kind of just go in with. We're gonna take that on the damp beauty blender. And what I do is I'll just take it right under the eyes and I will press it in almost like an upside down triangle. <laughs> have it on here and then he says to put it in an upside down triangle like this. I normally go in with a dry sponge when I'm doing pressed powders because I'm worried the moisture in the sponge is gonna fuck up my powder. I'm just afraid I'm gonna need to buy another one. Alright so here's before and here's after. It's definitely looking way more matte. Alright so next we need to set the rest of our face using a loose powder. Now he uses the La Mer the powder, which is $95. You guys know I have been using damp beauty blenders forever to dip into the powder. It melts right into your skin and it is a nice little beauty hack. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. I always go in with this. I feel like it's like one of the best loose setting powders at the drugstore. This powder is bomb and it's affordable and I love that. And that's period. So this powder is normally like four or five dollars. I think it's like five bucks. I would normally go in with a brush, but he says go in with the same beauty blender, which is what I'm gonna do now. And then just kind of like press it into your skin. Oh lord. And then he says to let it sit for a few minutes and then brush it away so it like marinates into your skin. I don't fucking know. One wiener later. Alright, so I let the powder sit for a few minutes. Now I'm just brushing it off like he said. Alright, so the next step is bronzer. Now Jeffrey uses the Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer, which is $49. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Perpetually Tan. How much is this? Alright, I had to price check this and this is $6. My dumbass depotted it. You get one Z palette and you're depotting all your shit. So the brush he uses to apply the bronzer is very fluffy. This is what I normally use to bronze and contour my face, but for this one, I'm gonna be using this fat Sony Kashuk one. Oh, I'm sorry, not fat, thick. All right, so he says in the video to go into his cheeks, forehead, nose, and jawline, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, so we are definitely very sculpted. Now he moves on to highlighter. So he uses a combination of Peach Goddess and Eclipse. Now each one of those highlighters is $29 and there's two. So the total cost of his highlight in that video is just around $60. See, oh my God, I calculated that so fast. That being said, I'm gonna be going in with something from the dollar store. You already know. This is the She Cosmic Glow Highlighter Trio. I got this from Dollar King. Now let's get real for a minute. These highlighters are freaking amazing. I cannot recommend them enough. They have that like balance bouncy putty texture, kind of almost like the Stila ones, and they're so freaking shiny and beautiful. Just look at them. Now, a lot of people always say, damn girl, your dollar store popping if you have that stuff, and let me tell you, it's because not all dollar stores are created equal. I always shop at Dollar King. Dollar King is quite the king, king of dollar makeup. You know, Dollar Tree, 99 cent only, they, they don't, they have shit makeup. Yay, tea! 
and I didn't know this, but apparently Dollar King, you can buy stuff online from them. So in the description, I'm gonna link this highlighter palette. I'm gonna be taking this one in the center because I feel like it's a perfect mix between Peach Goddess and Eclipse. All right, this is a Jeffree tutorial. We kind of have to, ooh. This is a Jeffree tutorial, so we do gotta go ham with the highlighter just a bit. Alright, so next Jeffree does his brows off camera. Now I'm gonna follow him in that step and do them off camera as well. I'm just gonna use the products I normally go in with, which are the e.l.f. eyebrow primer and also this pencil I got from the dollar store a while ago that I legit never use, but sometimes I do. So I'm gonna fix up these two bad boys and I'll see you in just a second. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know that it really warms my heart that I piss you off with the shit I post. Alright, I'm back, so brows are done. And I know my brow game is trash, so no need to yell at me in the comments, please. <laughs> All right, now comes the moment I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for, which is eyeshadow. Uh, let's get these eyes started. Today, we're gonna be using the YSL Couture Eye Primer. So remember to always, of course, use a synthetic makeup brush. It's one of those solid eye primers, like in the little pots. It kind of looks like the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So to prime my eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Amuse Eyeshadow Primer. This is from Shop Miss A, so it was only a dollar. Oh, a dollar! Now, normally, I just go in with my finger and pat it on my lid. My finger's in it. But he said to go in with a synthetic brush, which is what I'm gonna be doing now. Grind it in there. So the first shade he goes in with is just a normal ivory one to kind of give a base. So I'm just gonna be going in with more Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. All right, so moving on to the actual eyeshadow, he uses his Androgyny palette, which is $45. Now, as a substitution to that, I'm gonna be taking the Ocalon 8 Color Matte Palette. You can find this on Amazon and on a website called Shop Sherry. Now, this is actually a dupe for the Lime Crime Venus One. Bitch, what's up? We can fight, bitch, because it's legal now. I beat your ass on sight. The main star of the look is, of course, Charm. We got the Charm ones! Who the hell are you? my favorite transition color for really any look. And we're literally just going to start patting this on our eye. All right, so the first shade he goes in with is the one called Charm. Now it's like this tangerine orange. So I'm gonna be taking the shade Rebirth right here to substitute. I'm gonna start in the inner corner and I'm gonna go like this. And that is like a little placeholder for where I am going to stop. He like pats it on his inner corner like that. And go all the way over. And then you're gonna take it and I'm gonna start going into my crease. So next he says we take it and go all across the lash line like that. And then we're supposed to go into our crease, which is like right there. Basically, oh. we're just covering our whole lid in the shade. And what I quickly did off camera is I took a blending brush and I just kind of feathered it out, barely with any product on the end. Just a little bit, that should be enough. I mean, is that blended? I think so. We're going to dip into shade Dominatrix, this beautiful dark chocolate shade right here. So we're just gonna move massage this into the crease. So next we have to go in with a chocolate brown. Now I'm gonna be using this one right here called Icon. And this is a pretty similar brush, it looks like to me. And he said just to massage it in our crease while looking downward, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna go back into Eclipse really quickly with the brush we put on the primer. And we're just gonna go right below the brow bone. Going in with the same one in the middle and he uses the same brush he applied the primer with, which is what I'm gonna do too. And then he just uses that to highlight his brow bone like that. All right, now we're gonna go in with one of my all time favorite black liners. This is Smolder from MAC and I am just going to put this in my waterline. Next, he lines his eyes using a black liner. The one he uses is $19. The one I'm going to be using is by a brand called C'est La Vie. This is their waterproof gel liner. Now, surprise, surprise, I got this at the dollar store as well. Girl, you have done it again. Constant lowering the bar for us all. I've been obsessed with this liner for months. Watch this. Watch this. Look at how easy that goes on. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go back in with Charm. We're literally just gonna place this right below the waterline. All right, so next I'm gonna take the same little pencil brush like this, go right back into the Rebirth shade, and then just place this all across my bottom lash line exactly how he does. Oh, and then he goes in his inner corner like this and kind of connects the bottom and the top to make like a full circle. All right, now he said to go back into Dominatrix. And I'm gonna go back into Dominatrix for one split second, and I'm literally just gonna brush right below where I put Smolder. I'm going back into the shade Icon, and he said very gently, just kind of smoke out the bottom liner. This is before, and this is after. All right, so that was pretty much the last step of the eyeshadow, so I guess we're done. Now we have to do our lashes and mascara. So he uses the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which is $25, and then he uses Lily Lashes, which are $30. Now to do my lashes, I'm gonna be going in with the Essence Lash Princess, this is like four bucks, and then my lashes are gonna be my D41s from AliExpress. These are like $2 and something cents. They're like three bucks. You will find 
that it is you who are mistaken. All right, so lashes are on, and we are definitely starting to look like Jeffree Star now. Bitch, is you blind? I look like her, huh? All right, so next we have to do lips. Now, Jeffree uses a Marc Jacobs Remarkable Lip Cream in the shade Yours to Try. That lipstick is $28. Now, to replicate it exactly, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of a few products. Oh, ah, the ghetto! So the first product I'm going in with to replicate that color is a Shea Moisture Lip Pencil. Now, I never even knew Shea Moisture made makeup. I thought they were just into like hair care and body lotion and stuff, but they ended up having a makeup launch a while ago, and I guess it flopped because I found these at the dollar store. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. This is the shade Medium. Now, I'll be sure to leave a link to the Dollar King website where you can purchase this online. But I did some research and apparently while this was still like not discontinued, it was $8. So that is just a little bit more on the expensive side when it comes to the drugstore, but it's definitely below our $10 limit. So I'm just gonna color in my whole lips using this pencil and then we're gonna add some shit on top. All right, so this is how the lip pencil looks by itself. It definitely is really pretty and it does go with the eyes, but I feel like that Marc Jacobs one is just a tad bit more light. So I'm gonna take this C'est La Vie matte lipstick. Take a guess where this is from. It's from the dollar store. store. Now this is the lightest lipstick I own. It's like crazy light. I'm white. This one is in the shade Tan Nude. Now I'm just gonna take it and apply just a bit and I'm just gonna kind of mix it in with the Shea Moisture lipstick we have. All right, so this is how our little combo looks and I feel like it's a pretty damn good match to the Marc Jacobs one. All right, so the last product Jeffrey uses is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray. Now that is $24. smells so good. I actually do have a coconut setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 setting spray. They have different flavors of these and I just so happen to have the coconut one. How convenient is that? So you can find this for like four or five dollars. So I'm just gonna take this and mist my face like a maniac because that's what he does. <laughs> Roaches! I am soaking. All right, and that's pretty much it for Jeffrey's tutorial. He pretty much just puts on a pink wig, but for me, all I gotta do is womp. Snatched. Just gotta fix this mane because that bandana fucked me up a little bit. But yeah, this is how the look turned out. What do you guys think? I'm actually really impressed with myself for managing to pull this off. Because honestly, I was like so worried that the tones or like the little minute details wouldn't work. But what do you guys think? Here's a side by side comparison of me and Jeffrey's mug. You know, I feel like the rebirth shade in this palette is just a little bit more vibrant than Charm. Also, the lipstick is just a tad bit darker, but I fear that if I go any lighter, I'm gonna look ashy. But I feel like it's like 90% similar, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is my $50 version of Jeffree Star's $800 tutorial. I'm going to leave links to all of the products below because I know it was kind of, you know, a mess. I think I look real cute. Obviously, if you don't think I look cute, the dislike button is there for a reason. Yeah, if you guys would like to see me do more of these type of videos, you can always let me know. That's what the comment section is for. I love to hear from you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I hope you had a laugh. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Or I heard the voice of Jesus say.